Trotter and Eddie Payne. Eddie Payne. He tried to call it off. Jam going up now. Watch it. If you're just joining us, the last call of the game. Eddie Payne with the Thunderbird Network. We're watching two of the Tokyo Bomber girls move out on a play. Number two, Masai Nayata. Number four, Yumiki Hori. And coming on out now, Alice Mason. And down she goes. So now the only jammers here are Tokyo Bombers, and they're moving in very quickly, very quickly. They got speed here. They'll match any American team with speed. Their defense, of course, they have to rely generally on Keiko Ayabi. But let's watch this here as Skinny Minnie Miller defends for the T-Bird team. And old Skinny's got her work cut out. She's working to the right, works to the left. Gets one opponent in the rail. Another one recovers, comes right back. And let's watch it here as Skinny Minnie drops. The leading jammer, oh no, they keep right on coming and ricocheting off. The lead jammer, down they go. There was no score in that play. Hey. Jackson, Jackson moving up for that time, pushing Skinny Minnie through, and she is in the lead on the jam right now. Number 45, Pons back there to do the blocking on her. Skinny Minnie now with Jackson moving up in a hurry to try and get her by this pack. 29 seconds left to go. Leads to Pons, number 45, back there along with Juanita Ricardo, 41. That's Sherry Jackson, number eight, getting Skinny Minnie Miller through that time. Skinny Minnie doing the turnaround, cuts off the jam. Equal to any roller game team in the league. Two number fours here for the Tokyo Bomber, Yumiki Hori. For the T-Birds, Moto Unuki, who is a Japanese skater. Skating on the Thunderbird team. She went down, and here's the Tokyo Bomber going down. Keiko Yabi right back, gives her an assist, a good whip. Gets that forward momentum moving. She's down again. And right here is the story of Never Say Die. And it's a real, real thrill to watch this Tokyo Bomber team. So the only jammer, the Tokyo Bomber moves up to, oh, our old friend Skinny Mini Gwen Miller. Keiko Oyabi drops back and tries that accelerated whip. Thought maybe it might work. Added force, forward momentum, might crash through past Skinny Mini. Didn't work. They try it again. No. Never give up here, seems to be the cry. Now there he's so fat, his mother told me he was born on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And look at Skinny Mini Miller, the little Thunderbird gal on the move. 544 remaining. The first hit. There she comes. She breaks out of the pack. The crowd going wild. They're looking to go to triumph. The Thunderbirds want to win tonight. Want to win next Saturday. They want... And that may be beneficial for her. As the score's not up at 39 apiece with 325 remaining. Wendy Miller goes through again with flowers. They need two to tie it here. At the end of this, the seventh skating period, three to go ahead, and all she can get. But Sherry Simpson said, oh, look out. But she dumped her over the top. The helmet off accidentally. She has the right to score. She can score. She goes by them all. Laura James, you went by her like she's standing still. By Lori Weichel, by Debbie Laura, by Tammy Garrett, and back again. Seven seconds remaining, and she wants more. And Gwen Miller scores and scores. And stand by, I'm a real big, big interview. Yeah, trying to get back at her again, and she touch it off! A leaping Lena flying to the air with a drop scissors. Here's the gal that can do it. Skinny, Minnie, Gwen Miller. Can Gwen Miller do it? Can the gal do it? She's got several spots behind right now. She wants to move. Look at her go, a triple whip. She's hailing now. Can 
Duffy underneath this pile, and then he jumped on the pile and, and went after him. All right, we got Skinny Minnie with him on the track. Right there, there's Stephanie Garcia at the score. 32 for the Barbers and 25 for the Thunderbird. The Thunderbird, what a win this President's Cup very definitely here tonight. We'll listen to the next remaining. Garcia gets built on the rail. Now, Stephanie Garcia over the rail. One down, four to go. Rose Milk in the back of the pack. Go with Severson. Severson, the big gal. Built Skinny Minnie with Miller. Miller back up again with 141 remaining. It's a reverse leg kick from the left side. Right tie on Severson. Severson there. The pivot's waving high. She swings. She goes. She goes to the lead. Skinny Minnie with the little fans. Love it. She knows all the tricks. A reversal. Back again. Dances to the side. Back to the inside. And she's doing it. She's doing it all for Dr. Bahari out there in Glendale. Look. She's doing a number for all her fans. For everybody. You can see this.
Bosch getting it to Wood Miller. Up in front, the likes of Gail Bowers. They're giving him a kill. A beautiful leap you're leaning in there. Bosch. You know, Danny's going to need all the support of the T-Bird fans down here next sa this Saturday night. He's going to need it. 52 to 47. who is the executive producer of Real People, which I might say is one of the top-rated network programs in the entire country. Uh, they're going to bring the NBC cameras down and shoot the two birds in action. That'll happen on the 22nd.
man's going to get detoured, and, and, and maybe the whole team, maybe they're just a little overconfident. The team always has to come first. Right. Well, I hope you haven't spread themselves too thin out there. Skinny Mini Miller, you talk about this, though. I won't say it. On the move. Oh, the fans love this gal. She gets cards and let her sit there all the time. Look at this game. Lynn Miller, one minute, 23 seconds remaining. And she's on the move. Can't think about it. The big gal number 18, Jazzy Jenny. Jennifer Marshall. Alongside her up in front of us. talking about both. He's probably talking about the uh, VIP video crew, too, Deb. <laughs> well, you know that song, Smiling Faces. Is it going to be that way with three more periods? They're showing all these great cameramen, directors, producers, you name it. But I want to see what's going on here right now. The Thunderbirds, come on! One minute to go. But we need a folks. 65 to 55. Skinny Minnie Miller. That's a guy the folks want to see right now. Pick up points. The whole bunch. Let's have a chance. Here she goes. Sweet Stephanie Garcia lead jetting up the wall of death for the violators. There she goes. And down she comes, crashing and burning, and so she'll get no points. Skinny Minnie Miller gets two on the wall, two on the oh. jump, leapfrogs the flea. Paula Wilson gets a whip from Electric Grand. He goes underneath Lauren Hollywell, around Nancy Wilkinson, and stops the cycle by tapping her head. And that keeps Sweet Stephanie from scoring any points. Nice cycle for the birds. There's a beauty shot for you. Skinny Minnie coming off that jump after scoring seven points in that cycle. And that tightens the count to 27 to 22. Violators still lead, and Sweet Stephanie oh, is still mad. Come on. Skinny Mini cartwheels over the rail oh, and is going to stay down for a second. Thank you. What? That's her nickname from her electric red hair, too. Never a dull moment in roller games. That's the plea, Paula Wilson. Getting two points on both wall and jump, as does Skinny Minnie, a little 105-pound swizzle stick who, as you can see, holds her own in this brutal sport. She sure does. A whip from the corker, Debbie McCorkle, around Nasty Nancy for another point. And now she high hits Lauren Hollywell for still another, and she's not done yet with just seconds left in the cycle. One black jersey to pass. It's the plea, Paula Wilson. And as time runs out, two black jerseys do a tandem forward somersault. Let's go to the infield and Shelley. It was a rough game, but congratulations. You advanced into the championship round. It was a big win. We tried very hard. The team stuck together like we always should. We gave it all we could. You really fought. It looked nasty out there. It was nasty. That's just one. We're going to have the time. We're still working for the championship. And we're going to get him. We're going to get all him. We're going all the way. We've That's got right. him coming from behind, but we're going to go all the way to the top. That's right. Good luck. Men and women of the Thunderbirds really worked hard, and they deserve that win. Back to you, Chuck and David. Trying now to get around Patsy 
Delgado. Can she do it? Not at the moment. Gail Bowers trying to pass red, white, and blue. Big tie up. T Bird tying up everybody there. The jetpacks are frozen. Meanwhile, Delgado is fighting against Debbie McCorkle. Here comes Skinny Minnie into the pile. Making way for McCorkle to score. Skinny Minnie Miller is going to jet for the T Birds, and the Latin Spitfire remains the jetter for bad attitude. 45 second scoring cycle. There's a double whip for Skinny Minnie. It's called an atomic whip. Can she get six points? Oh, yes. There she is, Skinny Minnie. Probably the most underrated player in all the league. And she got six on the jump, and Delgado is struggling. And look at Skinny Minnie go. Around Gail Bowers, around Marnie Smith. Now trying to pass the brat. And she does so. Only two points thus far in this cycle for Delgado and Bad Attitude, and there they are locked in Mortal Kombat. Who's going to win this one? Delgado deserves that one. Let's go down to the infield now, and Shelly Jameson.